I had the opportunity to shoot Darren McMullen from MTV fame for his new website. In the wise words of Charles Eads, awards are merely badges of mediocrity. Uh, he wanted to shoot a colorful, low-end hotel, kind of trashing the place. All he needed was one shot, but I felt like if we just do one shot on set, that doesn't make any sense. Let's trash this hotel room one shot at a time, and it'll give you a series of images leading up to our finale. And he loved that thought, so that's what we did. Some people would just come in with a trashed hotel room, but not us. Not JP, he had other dark ideas. He wanted to trash the hotel room for real, to live out some kind of boyhood fantasy. I really wanted the color to pop in the room, so we chose really interesting colors for the room. But then I also realized that I was going to take it in Photoshop later and I was going to work on it a little bit. So indeed I did that. I went to Nick Software and the Color Effects Pro and I used the Contrast Color Range plugin. I set the setting between cyan and blue, which really gave me a nice color. The Kessler Shuttle Pod is really a go-to piece of equipment as we shoot these behind-the-scenes videos. We're going to take a look now at this last shot and see how the lighting is broken down. The very first image here is with just the practical lights on set. We've got a lamp in the corner, we've got an overhead light, we've got a vacancy sign outside the window. We start with a ring light as our fill light which gave us a lot of options. I can use it as a fill but if I push in close I can use it as a ring light to give us an interesting light. The next light we added is a rim light on the telephone on camera left. It was a mono block that shot over the wall just to give us a little bit of highlight and bounce to that phone. We added a mono block with a warming gel on it on the maid who's coming in the door. The reason we warmed it was because we're going to add warm light in the hall and the two need to match for it to feel comfortable together. Our next light is a mono block coming through the window with a blue gel on it. Now comes the light in the hallway. We put a mono block overhead aiming almost straight down towards the floor. Reason being we want it to look just like a hall light. We want to back it up just a little bit so it will throw a highlight on the door which will help separate her as she comes in. All of these heads were Hensel mono blocks, 500 watt, watt mono blocks, 1000 watt mono blocks. It just depends on where we set them and what we're doing with them. You know, I love beauty dishes. I use them all the time, but I don't use them in the normal way very often. This time I used it overhead straight down as if it were the room light and it gave us a nice open fill to the room, backlit him a little bit, gave us a little rim light or hair light in his hair. For our last light we used a head with a grid in it that my assistant kept aimed at Darren as he moved around the room. So here's our final shot. That was a crazy ride, but a really interesting day. <laughs>